Hello everyone, it's Friday. So that means we have even more new products for you this week. We've actually got a lot of stuff to talk about this week, so let's see all the new stuff that we've got. So we got our second shipment of all those connectors, switches, and all that other stuff um, that we had last week. We just got our second shipment in, and here is the rest of it. So I'm just going to go through these one by one and show you all the different things we got. Um, so let's first start with um, this little guy. This is a waterproof cover for toggle switches and has this little ring underneath as a washer. And what you do is... So you've got this toggle switch, right? Boom. If you panel mount this, it, you know, water can leak into it, dust can leak into it, stuff like that. So you take this little guy, slip it on, screw it on like that, and now you've got this nice watertight dustproof seal. And since it's flexible, flips right along with the sit switch. So these are pretty cool. Speaking of switches, we've got a couple new switches. We've got two new rocker switches. Uh, we have this round guy, which is a single pole, single throw. Um, so as you can see, it would just operate as a very basic on or off connector, and that is it. Um, in addition, we have this um, rectangular rocker switch, which is actually a dual pole, dual throw. So you've got your two jacks down here, and it pulls to two jacks over here. So dual pull, dual throw, and so you can use this as a, um, you know, bi-state, on or off, something like that. And um, this has a little snap-in connector, so you just snap it into a panel mount. Um, we had a lot of jacks last week, and we've got a couple more this week. Um, here's a couple quarter-inch jacks. Um, we've got this one, which is a right angle, because, you know, it's right angle to the board. Um, this one is interesting because it has, um, I think it's called switch detect. If you look at these pins down here, we've got three and three, and when nothing is plugged in, there is actually a connection between the left and the right hand side. However, when you plug something into it, this little tab lifts up and it breaks that connection. So you can actually use this to detect when something's plugged in or detect when nothing's plugged in. And this is, once again, a quarter inch, um, like a um, microphone or headphone jack size, and it is a stereo. And it comes with this little washer and this nut on the end. In addition to that, we also have the same thing in a vertical. So this would mount like that on the board and it would mount vertically. Um, this one does have the washer and the nut as well. I just don't have the nut right here in front of me. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to do a right angle, you can use this guy, or if you're looking to do a vertical, you can do this guy. Um, lastly, for the switch and plugs, we've got this just basic um, eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter audio plug. Um, this is the exact same thing you'd see on headphones and things like that. And if we pull this apart, you can see we've got the um, two prongs there and then the ground prong down here. So you'd feed your wire in like that, terminate it, terminate it, and then you'd crimp this down. Then you'd slide this jacket over, close it up, and you have a nice you know, professional looking connector with you know, a little bit of strain relief in the back. So these are pretty common and should be pretty handy. In addition to that, we even have the mating jack that goes with it. And this is the eighth inch panel mount jack, or 3.5 millimeters. And as you can see, that plugs in it is a very basic jack. It's just kind of an open frame, has these little solder lugs, and has a little nut and a washer in there. So just, you know, your most basic eighth inch jack that you could think of. So that goes well with that. We also have a few more LED things this week. Um, first up, We've got this little indicator light. Um, this is something that you might see like in the dash of a car or something like that. You might put this into a panel as like just a status indicator light. Um, it does have an LED inside. It runs at six volts. It should run fine at five volts. It has these nice um, eight inch long leads connected to it. And it has these little um, springy clips right here so that if you drill the hole to the um, right size, you can just snap it right in. So these are really um, great for just panel mount illuminator lights if you don't want to mount an LED or something like that. If you do, we have these two. These are um, LED holders. Now we've got these with the LEDs inside. Let me just pop that out. 
Um, so we've got them in a five millimeter and a 10 millimeter size. And I'll show you what they look like. So you just got this kind of like chromey plastic barrel, the nut, and then this back kind of um, receiver cap. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the LED into the cup like this. Okay, so we're just gonna feed that down. That inserts in, and then we just tighten the nut on the back. So now you have a really clean panel mount LED. Works nice as a little indicator light. Uh, we have the exact same thing for all of our 10 millimeter LEDs. So if you want a nice big, you know, shine you in the eyes LED indicator, check out the 10 millimeter. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger, has a washer and has the nut and has that same little plug in the back that you just pop it into and there you go. So that is it for all of our little connectors, um, audio jacks, audio plugs, and switches for this week. Um, I think we might have a few more coming in, but we now have quite a bit of different options for you for pretty much any application. So our toolkits have always been pretty popular here at SparkFun, and we've been out of stock of them for a while, and here is why. We have two brand new toolkits. We have both the Deluxe and the Intermediate, as well as the Beginner that is still on the site. Um, as you can see, we've redone the packaging. So they come in this really lovely SparkFun box that shows you what's inside. If anyone had bought a um, toolkit before, we just kind of had it you know, thrown together in a box and we just taped the soldering iron on it. The presentation wasn't that great. We decided to change it and we just have them in these really great boxes. Um, we've changed what's inside a little bit. So I'm gonna open each one of these up, show you what's inside and give you an idea of what to expect if you were to purchase either one of these toolkits. So let's start with the Intermediate Toolkit. So this is the SparkFun Intermediate Toolkit. Um, has all these things inside of it and let's open it up and just kind of go through everything that's in here. This toolkit has the 30 watt soldering iron. Now this is your basic, um, you know, fire starter as we call it. It gets hot enough to melt solder, so good enough. Um, it is a very easy to use iron. It is decent. Um, if you're just beginning, this is gonna be just fine for you. In addition, it comes with a simple little stand. Has a thing like that, screws in. And I'll screw it in halfway. And then we should have a sponge in here somewhere. It's got one of those nifty little tiny thin sponges that you add water to and it blows up. So there's that. Um, we've also got just the basic multimeter here. So we've got that. The test leads for the multimeter. Um, wire strippers. These are just your basic um, kind of spring-loaded SparkFun branded wire strippers that go down to um, a 30 gauge wire size. And they even have a little bit of pliers and some um, snips in them right there. We give you a tube of um, leaded solder. Um, we use leaded for these kits because it's a lot easier to solder with and if you're not doing anything production, leaded, unleaded, doesn't really matter. So give you a tube of solder. That's ah, gonna fall over. Um, we give you one of these monocles, which is really handy for seeing all those tiny surface mount components and even has a little LED light on it. Now we give you a couple of these snippers. We've got um, the little diagonals and then we've got the pliers. Those come in very handy. Battery for the meter, solder wick. Um, if you guys have never used solder wick, you might want to try it out. It's kind of like, um, a sponge for solder. It is a braided copper, and if you have a joint that you have too much solder on or you accidentally solder to it, you can unroll a little bit of wick, heat up the thing, apply the wick, and the wick will just suck away the solder, and then you can unsolder it. So wick is very handy for mistakes. Um, we've got this really basic little um, reversible screwdriver, and even has a handy little clip on it so you can stick it on your shirt. And last, but definitely not least, is the flux pen. Um, if you've ever soldered before and not used a flux pen, you might want to try it out. Um, flux is kind of like um, liquid negotiator for solder. Um, you just spread a little bit on there and it just makes the solder flow a lot better. So if you've got a really big joint or a really difficult joint where you need the solder to flow, it, 
you know, it's almost like it breaks the surface tension and just allows it to flow a lot easier. So it comes with a flux pin. So this is the intermediate kit and pretty much there's nothing really here that you wouldn't need. Um, you're not going to need to buy anything else once you get this kit. You have your soldering iron, you have your meter, you've got all the basic tools. Um, if you want to get a little bit more and maybe want a better iron, then that's maybe the reason to step up to the deluxe kit. So this brings us to the big deluxe kit. As you can see, the box is a lot bigger. The biggest difference between this kit and the intermediate kit is the soldering iron, and we give you um, kind of a little bit more of some things and um, just a few things that aren't in the other kit. So let's open this up and look at the differences between the two kits. So when you first open it up, you notice that the soldering iron takes up pretty much the majority of the space inside there. Um, this is the same iron that we talked about previously on one of these new product posts. Um, this is the SparkFun branded soldering iron, and we get this made specifically for us, and it is a very nice iron. Um, as you can see, it's got this nice base unit. It's got a lot bigger, sturdier base, and then it's got the separate wand. The advantage to having a separate wand like this is it's a lot lighter, it's a lot more flexible, it's just easier to use all around um, instead of having the whole thing just plugged into the wall. Um, adjustable temperature, all that good stuff. So if you're doing a lot of soldering, the other iron is perfectly good. This is a little bit better. Pick and choose which one you want. So this is definitely gonna be easier if you're doing a lot of boards. If you just do occasional boards here and there, the other one's great. Everything else remains pretty much the same. Um, we've got the same meter, we've got the same pliers, we've got the flux pen, we've got the wire strippers, we've got the other pliers, uh, we've got the battery for the meter as well as the test leads for the meter, we've got that same screwdriver guy, we've got the monocle for looking sophisticated. Um, now here's where the differences start. We've got a much bigger roll of solder. Um, instead of that little tube, we've got, you know, this decent sized spool of it. This is going to last you a lot longer. So once again, if you're doing a lot of soldering, this will help you out. In addition, we also include a lot more solder wick. So once again, if you're going to be soldering more often or more boards, you're going to need more wick. So larger thing of wick. Um, we also include the handy and the ever useful little exacto knife or hobby knife. We have these little curved right angle tweezers. Um, if you've never done SMD work, there is no better way to pick up SMD components than with these tweezers. So we include those. And then we have tip cleaner. Um, tip cleaner is really fantastic. Um, if you have soldered before, you realize that your tip gets really grimy and nasty over time and it starts to oxidize and just kind of get dirty and then it doesn't solder as well. Well, tip cleaner is fantastic because you just take your tip, dip it into this, melt it, swirl around a little bit, and you have a nice shiny brand new tip. Uh, we use this in production and tips last significantly longer with tip cleaner. In addition, we give you two spools of hookup wire, just, you know, basic connection wire. Um, so you can actually start, you know, soldering the wire and connecting things. And lastly, we give you this um, spool of wire wrap wire. It's really thin gauge wire that's good for um, doing fixes on traces on a board or, you know, wrapping around terminals, things like that. So there you go. The deluxe kit has just a few more items and ultimately if you know you're going to be doing this hobby and you know you're going to be soldering and you know you're going to be making things, the toolkit is going to have those little extras that you are just going to use. And consumables like the solder and the wick, it gives you more of those so you don't have to rebuy them as soon. Um, so check out both the beginner kit, um, the intermediate kit, and this deluxe kit if you're looking to get started and you just want to dive in and get everything you need. Um, in addition, both the Beginner, Intermediate, and Deluxe Toolkits do have wish lists at the bottom of them. So let's say you already have a soldering iron but want to buy everything else, you can go into the wish list, add that to your cart, and just delete out the soldering iron, and then you can buy everything else. Um, you don't get the discount that you get by buying all this together in the box, but you don't have to pick one of these things out individually. You can just add the whole thing to your cart. So check out the toolkits. There you have it, 
the finale to yet again another new product post. Um, we've got the two new toolkits, which we're very excited. We like seeing these cool red boxes. It's fantastic. Um, we also like seeing just this huge selection of new connectors and parts and bits and, you know, panel mount LEDs. Come on. This is all good stuff. So uh, check out the rest of the new product post. We even have more products than this on the um, whole product post. So go ahead and read that. And um, we're actually working on a little demo for next week. So you might want to check back then and see what kind of demo we have in store. So we'll see you again next week. And thanks for watching.